Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We are just about set to put the ball on the tee. Everybody get loose and get set for action from the Big 12. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. intense college football battle. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28. Getting ready to take the field in their final home game in their career. The final games always have an extra emotional element in them. We'll see if they can channel that emotion and turn it into a victory. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And they finally knock him out at the... TCU's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And, you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. First down and 10 to go after the big gain on the run. He's tackled at about the 29-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Steps out of bounds at the 25. Get about four yards from play action. It's second and seven. Ball on the 25. You know that saying, get your keys out, because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Tries to get around the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the three. Gain of 12 on the play. That, that makes it first and goal. goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And the goal line defense digging in here. Dives, and he's down. A seven-play, 71-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. It can demoralize the defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. The score now, 7-0. Holmes from the three, and he's tackled to the 30-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He 
He's to the 40. And they make the stop right around the 46-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? You better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Taken down at the 43-yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That brings up second and 13. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on their own 40. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. They take him down immediately. Third down. Five wide. Check, check. Green 90. Stand right. Green 90. He goes downtown. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything works perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. He dropped it. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Here they come. Tackle made at the 19. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. And now he pitches it. 10. Touchdown, OU. how you're supposed to run the option. The defense just got lost there. They didn't account for everybody in the backfield, and the rest is history. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. And down he goes around the 42-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Two down, two down. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. He knew it was a run all the way. Got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Or running backs got it on the screen. He's taken down right around midfield. By the offensive line to sell the defense on the pass rush and then get out in front to make some room for the screen. It's first and ten. Ball on the 50. Now he's scrambling. Tries to get around the corner. Brought down right around the 38-yard line. He's scrambling. 
Tackle at about the 33-yard line. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 30 yard line. We've played one. We're even at seven in this one. Set to resume action here in the second quarter and get even. He scrambles. He's brought down in the open field. About four yards away here on third down. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. They'll bring him down at the 21. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. This is the eighth play of this drive. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From the 21-yard line, second down. Tackled for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. down the middle play to set him up with a first and goal that's the third time they've converted on third down on this drive when you can stay on the field in these kind of situations you're doing something right it's first down looking for six points here let's see if they try to pound both teams have their goal line sets on the field. Touchdown, Horn Frogs! And a halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. Big touchdown, and they really had to grind way to the goal line there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. to the back incomplete
throws complete, and he's hit right away. Johnson to the top of the ball at the 41-yard line. That brings him second in football. to the receiver, incomplete. Third down again. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, yo. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Takes it and he's tackled short. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. Brown is waiting for the snap. <laughs> Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. TCU is up seven. On the run, gets it to the tight end. And he's tackled around the 39-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They come out in a five-wide set. There. The quarterback held on to it and turned it into a first down. That's very frustrating for this defense. Zips it to the back, and they make the stop right around the 50. And they get five yards from that completion. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. From midfield, second down. He's going to try and scramble, and they get the sack. That's a loss of six yards. That makes it seven yards. Taken down at the 48. Nice game, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. And they're coming after this punter. Whoa, he just took a licking. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Now he tries to buy some time, and he can't get away from the pressure. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Let's go! Wide 80! Wide 80! Quick pass. He's tackled in the open field. Oklahoma's going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line.
Gets it all. Going deep. No. Incomplete. Holmes was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 44. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. He sails it long. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. football. TCU in front, 14-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Mr. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back? Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games, and you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Miller from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. TCU's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he throws it away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 23. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. Gates is back awaiting the punt. And he can't hang on to the ball. Missed tackle. He's taken down at the 47. I'll tell you, a few plays in football can test your concentration like returning punts. you got to see the ball into your hands while not worrying about being hit. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. TCU up seven points. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Second down at 12. Ball on the 45. Get up, get up. 
Give to the tailback. Nice gain as he works the right side. Good to gain six yards. That'll bring up third and six. pin the offense deep in their own territory. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Check nine, check nine. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. And he's stuck behind the line. reliable receivers around. They needed a big play on third down, and he got it for them. to about the 44-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. He's taken down at about the 49. From their own 49 yard line. First down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home. The blocking wasn't there, and down he went. Here's the eighth play of the series. Outside the goal line. That brings up second and goal. Touchdown, OU. be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's take a look at some scores from around the country. And for Oklahoma State, 
they try to become bowl eligible. Oklahoma State leads it 17-14. All right, Reese, back to our game. Anderson Finley has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. There he goes! He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 36-yard line, first down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. They'll bring him down at about the 43-yard line. That makes it second and two. So with one quarter remaining, we're deadlocked right now at 14. We played three quarters even. Fourth quarter is going to tell the difference. Defensive coordinator is an excitable guy, and he couldn't be any more excited than he is right now. Huge, huge stop here in a tie game in the fourth quarter. Bowen to punt. He drops it. They'll bring him down at the 23. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. He's out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and six. Scramble. Loose football. And it's picked up by one of the linemen. And he's tackled at the 36. First and 10. Ball on the 36. Him hard at the 41. Game one yard. That'll make it 35. I smell fear in that offense. I smell fear in that offense. Check, check. Why, Eddie? Eagle. Why, Eagle? Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Good tackle there in space. That's a game of three. Brown is waiting for the snap. Yeah. 
and he muffed it. And he's tackled at the 31. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Just under three to go in regulation. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 33-yard line. Screen pass gets it to the back. Knocked out of bounds at the 41 yard line. That'll make it third and one. Double tight, double tight. Three down, three down. Put the seven to right. Mark put the seven. Yeah, next step. Anderson on the run. That's a game of eight on the play. First down. Check three, check three. Yeah. Easy, easy, easy. Kill, 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 kill. He's on the run. They bring the quarterback down. That's a loss of two yards on the run. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Short over the middle. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say, that won the ball game. A little over a minute in the game. And he's taken down at the 20. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. made at the 31-yard line. Looks to the back and can't connect. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 31. Tailback incomplete. Johnson knocks the ball loose. That brings us third and ten. Get that quarterback, Demon. Get that quarterback, Demon. Demon, get that quarterback. Hey, watch that. The defense is making great plays here late in the fourth quarter in a tie ball game. And the question now is which offense can rise to the occasion? Gates back deep to return. It's away. Short punt. Tackle made at the 43 yard line. We're late in the fourth quarter. Great game. A tied football game. And the question now is who's going to rise to the occasion? Scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. Yeah. 
Get to that quickly. We're going to overtime. Well, that's the end of regulation, and this game is still unsettled, so we're going to overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Never want to see a kid down on the field after a play. Not sure what happened, but hopefully it's nothing serious. From the 21-yard line, it's second down. He makes a catch and has a first down. It's second down and a long way to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. He's under pressure. His drill at the nine. Seven. Call it a gain of two yards. Fourth down. And the kicker comes out to try to put three points on the board here in overtime. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The football's flying all over the lot in the Big 12. And for Texas Tech, they've lost two in a row. The Cowboys win it by three. Elsewhere, Arkansas and LSU hooking up in the battle for the golden boot. And for Arkansas, they've dropped two straight. And for Hardy, an outstanding performance with three touchdowns on the ground. The Tigers prevail by seven. All right, thanks, Reese. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He's got an opening. He makes his way out to about the six. That makes it first and goal. to take advantage of the defense holding them to a field goal. They knew they were going to have a chance to win this, and they came through. Just a fan finish. And so that's going to do it. The Horn Frogs take the win, 14-14.
For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.